Shalom, and welcome to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul, your Biblical Hebrew podcast. Shalom and welcome to our Biblical Hebrew podcast. Yesterday in our session we had a question about one verse from Deuteronomy 32 verse 13. In general, this chapter in Deuteronomy is known as poetry that Moses was saying, summarizing to the people of Israel 40 years in the desert. And in verse 13, he describes a picture in which the Creator nourishes the people with honey from the rock. In Hebrew, Vainikehu dvash misela. And now, this interesting question is how can it be that honey can come up from a rock? And in order to answer this question, first we have to understand two terms in Hebrew and their symbolic meaning and how do they come together and how the divine makes it possible to take honey from the rock and nourish people with the honey. One idea is good to take into consideration is that the 40 years that the people walked in the desert, they did not have access to any civilization, so to speak. And how it is possible that from the most hard cases like rock, which is very rigid and sealed, to take something so smooth, so sweet, and so connecting to the roots like honey. What is a rock in Hebrew? The rock in Hebrew is Sela. The rock in Hebrew is Sela. Sela. The word Sela is written in three letters. Samech, Lamed, Ein. The volume of the letter Samech is 60. The volume of the letter Lamed is 30. Together they make 90. And the volume of the letter Ein is 70. So all together the word Sela makes 160. What is 160? If we take the zero outside of this uh, equation, we get or oh, we left with 16. 16 is an expression, mathematical expression of 4 double 4 or 4 in the power of 2. In other words, 4 is a manifestation of material and 4 and 4, 4 double 4 is even more condensed form of material like a closed room. Let's say 4 is marked by the letter Dalet in Hebrew, the fourth Hebrew letter in the alphabet. And if we take Dalet and an opposite Dalet like a mirror and we put them together, we get a closed room, something which is sealed. You cannot penetrate. Nothing can come in, nothing can go out. A solid rock. And now Moses uh, describes that even in the most hard close situation when people don't want to listen, don't want to get any input, don't want to open their horizons to their mind to the possibility of another perspective, except conflict and duality, even in those hardest moments, the infinite, the divine managed to create honey and nourishes them with honey from the most tough situation. What is honey? In Hebrew, honey is dvash. Dvash. And a honey, in a way, is a consequence or a product that comes from the interaction between a bee, a flying bee with wings in the air, and 
a flower, a flower or a tree that carries a flower, both flowers and trees. They are in a way belonging, they are belonging to the spirit kingdom, to the Vav of the name of the Tetragrammaton. Both flowers and trees, they can move in the wind. The tree moves in the wind, though it has roots in the ground, also flowers. They have roots in the ground, but they can move with a bit of wind. And the bee comes also with her wings. She flies in the air, in the thin air, and she moves between the moving. She moves between flowers on the ground or flowers on the trees between the kingdom of moving. The bee, in a way, is like the vav because she has wings. She moves in the air and she connects to the flower which is moving in the air too and to the flower on the tree which is moving in the air too. And she is, in a way, manifestation of three vavs or the trinity. Three vavs is three lines, three lines of the tree of life. And in her body she produces the honey, meaning the honey in Hebrew is a product or a manifestation or a realization of the three bonds of the spirit, the three vows, which are the bee, her wings, her ability to fly, the flower which is moving in the wind and the flower of the tree. So in other words, the honey is a manifestation of the connection of the three bonds of the spirit, the three vavs. The three vavs we find also in the letter Shin. The letter Shin is ri written with three lines. It's a connection. And the letter Shin appears as the last letter of the word Vaj. So what does Moses want to tell us in his poetry Ha'azinu? Even in the most dark, hardest situations, when people feel locked, trapped, they cannot get any input from the surrounding, they cannot be in connection. To anything else but themselves. Even in those cases, the impossible happens. Honey comes from the rock. Honey is expression of the connection of the spirit. The spirit can come and connect us to the infinite via honey. Honey is also sweet. Usually, sweetness associate with the connection to the root. Let's say sweet water, everybody can drink sweet water. People, animals even, have more little creature. They drink sweet water, they can continue their life. So sweet water is associate with the root, with the ability to give. For instance, bitter water or standing water it's not recommended to drink because they are far from the root. They are not streaming, they accumulated dust and bacteria. It's not healthy. So the sages are telling us, and also when we look at the map of rivers in the world, uh, the source of water in the mountains or lakes, they are sweet. And the more they come to the ocean, to the end, they get salty or the far from the root, like we see in the land of Israel, the land of Canaan, we have the Lake of Galilee, sweet water lake. People can drink and everybody can find rest and life. This is the water of giving, giving life sweet water. And the Dead Sea, the salty water. In the Dead Sea, even a bird cannot fly above the Dead Sea. It is so salty that even the sulfur steam that comes out uh, from the water kills a bird. A bird cannot fly above. It's impossible for a bird, even 
to the owner of wings to fly above salty water, she will perish. So what did we learn from this conversation? Sweet testifies on a connection to the root, to the source. In the most tough situations of walking in the desert, but not just historical desert, but sometimes when we feel locked in our life, trapped in situation of which we don't see any way out, nothing can come in, we cannot go out. And then comes Moses and says, Vainikehu dvash misela, and he nourishes him with honey from the rock. In the most hard situation, there is a possibility to find the honey, the spiritual honey. In most tough spots in our life, the spirit could come and comfort us with its sweetness, with her bonds. The spirit can reach any darkest place. So this was our little conversation today about how to produce honey from a rock and the poetry of listening. Shirat HaAzinu. Shalom lechulam v'yom tov. Have a beautiful day and wonderful week. Thank you for listening to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul. We hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions, comments, or would like to hear more about a certain topic, just write us an email to hebrew at learnoutlive.com. We are always happy to hear from you. For more episodes, videos, and articles like this, please visit our website at hebrew.learnoutlive.com. We also would like to invite you to join our live classes. Just search for Online College of Biblical Hebrew on Facebook and start learning now with students from all over the world. Kol Tuv and Shalom.